Good morning to all of you at home. Right now, the focus is on Hurricane Irma, rapidly intensified last night, but now we're seeing the strength holding steady as a major dangerous Category 3 hurricane. Maxistine winds 115 miles per hour. It's located about 1,600 miles east of the Leeward Islands, moving to the west-northwest at 12 miles per hour and forecast to move to the west as we head into Sunday, though, could be moving more towards the west-southwest. And then by Tuesday, intensifying likely to a category four hurricane and into Wednesday. It looks like it may be taking more of a northwesterly track. Then at least that's what most of the computer models are in agreement with until we get to the middle and end of the week. That's when we see there is a lot of uncertainty and some divergence. And we're going to take a look at two models, the U.S. global model, the GFS shaded in blue, and then the European model, which is a little bit more of a, a yellowish color. So the GFS model is showing that Irma could be moving on more of a northerly path as as we are seeing it potentially just to the west of Bermuda as we head into Saturday of next week. However, the European model is showing that Irma could be moving across northern parts of the Caribbean and could be heading in the general direction of the Bahamas, possibly even Florida as we head into next weekend. That would be the time frame. So obviously because of the spread in the models and the fact that it's too soon to say, we're going to have to closely monitor Irma, which right now you can see the latest satellite image and that very well-defined eye as it continues to move west northwest. The reason why the strength hasn't changed since last night. Right now we have some slightly cooler ocean water. However, it's going to be moving here towards the east of the Leeward Islands by the early to middle of next week, where there's very warm ocean waters, and that provides fuel for Irma to strengthen, likely to a Cat 4. And then also we are going to be seeing some low wind shear here, and that's an environment that is favorable for strengthening. So certainly a time right now to remind you that you need to have your supplies and plan in place. It is the peak of the hurricane season right now. As we take a view from our Biscayne Bay camera Miami, we're seeing some clouds in the mix as well as from our Key West camera. It's a big holiday weekend for many of you and we're seeing rain now heading towards coastal areas of Broward and now pushing in around parts of Miami Beach heading into downtown Miami. We already had some downpours, and even some lightning across Country Walk. The hammock still dealing with some wet weather. Marathon, Big Pine Key also seeing some showers. The breeze right now out of the east southeast, 7 to 12 miles miles per hour 86 in Miami 84 in Fort Lauderdale rain cold 79 degrees in Kendall low 80s across the Keys it feels like the mid to upper 90s already because it is so steamy out there so breezy steamy sun today passing storms and even into tomorrow we'll see the chance for some rain due to a weak tropical wave that's going to keep our atmosphere moist and a bit unsettled for the first half of your long holiday weekend then we have some dry dusty air that moves in Sunday it's going to be really heating up close to the mid 90s hazy hot and humid through Monday for Labor Day so keep that in mind there could be a few storms then. And also we are watching this wave here off the coast of Africa. Here is the depression Harvey leading to some more wet weather across the Ohio Valley. And this wave here in the eastern Atlantic, we're seeing a medium potential of development as we head into this weekend. For today, 92 degrees, body storms. It's going to feel like the hundreds. We'll still see the chance for storms through tomorrow for your Saturday, then 94 Sunday, hazy, hot, and humid through Monday for Labor Day, 93 with a few storms.